Um, my address is 1203 Hickory Drive, Fallon Austin, Georgia. And your concerns, sir? Sir? What are your concerns? Um, you wanted to speak against, so you have some concerns? Your objections. Oh, oh, my objection. Excuse me, I'm a little hard to hear. That's okay. Um, if you all will, will give me a second um, of your time, um, maybe some of y'all know me, and some of the folks in here know me, and I've been around in and about Hay Hour for a long time. My wife owns that tract of land, it's 87 acres that constitutes the west end. Of, uh, of Hay Hour and goes out to, to uh, basically to uh, I-75 to Union Road as it exists now and um, she's owned that for better than 50 years and we uh, we a while back, we, we decided that we would uh, put on a musical festival called the Great Hay Hour Pick-In, and we, a group of friends of mine, and I put it on for a period of 17 years consecutively with one later episode of putting it on the last Great Hay Hour Pick-In. And back about 25 years ago or more, we decided when we learned that, that, the, that the fields that, that used to be used for, for planting soybeans in um, on the road in question now um, had been zoned uh, R10, we decided that we, we needed to do something and if we're going to put a subdivision in there, an R10 subdivision, a single family dwelling, that we needed to do something to shape the place up and we had it mowed and planted in pines and they grew to 40 foot in height over the years and last year we cleaned it and, and made a park out of it in order to comply with the R10 zone. Um, there's a paved road that, that you all put in there um, to accommodate uh, Mr. Rogers, who was going to build uh, a subdivision on the north side of the road, and uh, that didn't work out somehow. Some houses were built along there. There's a there's a uh, 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 a government finance project that, that, that at the west end on the north side of the road. Uh, unfortunately, we were not notified when 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 they put in a loud trailer park in there. We had no notice of that. And all of a sudden, there were trailers in there. And as a matter of fact, for this for this hearing, and I, I it, it's not it's not a lack of interest that that caused me not to go to the uh, to go to the hearing in Valdosta uh, for a recommendation from the zoning commission uh, was the, the fact that I'm blind and uh, can't drive, can't seem to get myself around. My son, Justin, uh, who's helping me out with things in general, um, had had a spinal operation at the time of a hearing in Valdosta, and uh, I can't, if I had written myself a note of the time, I wouldn't have been able to read the note. So the last thing he was thinking about was, was this situation here. Um, so it was not out of lack of interest that we didn't appear before to give you the information that I'm trying to give you now. Also, we asked, he called up the uh, city hall and asked for permission to come to your work session. And, and uh, because he, we were parties of interest, and he was told by the person who answers the phone there that, that that nobody was appearing. But now it seems in, from the paper that that Mr. Chancy was there, and and uh, and the planners 
under uh, the architects and development. The uh, subdivision were there, but we were not there because we've been told we couldn't come. And I know that's not y'all's fault. Somebody misdirected us. We would like to have done all this at your planning session rather than, than here in public. And I don't want to put anybody on the spot at all. But what, what I'm saying to you is this property is actually owned by my children. Um, they got it from their mother who, who put it in a family limited partnership. And that included all the property now that's been developed on 122. And all the businesses that bought that property are out there, and we carefully supervised all of them uh, and to be sure that A. Howard was going to be orderly uh, developed in that area. Um, and, and we feel like we've done a fair job for the, for the city uh, in doing that. Um, that's completely controlled now at, uh, by the zoning and, and the, the general plan for the development of that area. And we, we have a few lots left that we, that we hope will be, be developed in an orderly fashion for the benefit of my children. We had also hoped that the subdivision that we had planned that's about 40 acre subdivision of single family dwellings would successively be able to be developed in that fashion. But I, and I'm saying this not just from, from my standpoint, from the children, but if when you when you reduce the, the structure and allow uh, less favorable development of R6 with multiple rental houses being established uh, in an area, it pretty well diminishes the fact that you can develop a proper single family dwelling subdivision across the street. And it means that in all likelihood you're going to have about 46 acres of perhaps not what the original planters thought I would go in there. Uh, I do not know how we can sell single family dwellings uh, under these circumstances and uh, that would be to the detriment of my children who probably can't be sold, but it also would be, to the, I think, to the detriment of the city of, of Hay Um we had, we had been asked back when, when they were going to move Smith Hospital because the people who owned it claimed that they didn't have enough room to run a hospital there and there was no property available in Hay Hour to put a hospital. That property was sitting there, of course, and when, when the city learned that that was their ploy to move it to Valdosta because there was no place in Hay Hour for it to go, they asked me to write a letter to the commission who was making this ultimate decision as to whether there was a need here or an availability here or a need there uh, to write a letter and I wrote and composed and sent a letter to the authorities saying that this property was available for sale uh, at reasonable compensation less than what they paid for the property for what the much less acreage down there. Um, we've, we've tried to cooperate with Hay Howard in every way possible, isn't it? And I'm fond of this town. Uh, and I would, I would hope, I would hope that you would not reduce it from R10 to R6 for all these reasons that I've, I've stated before. And I'm sorry that, that I'm this late in, in, uh, in making this, but it was something beyond my control. Uh, Justin was not able to drive and, and told he could not drive a car during that period of time. The last thing he was thinking about was this property that he owns part of up here uh, going before the zoning board. Um, I, I'd ask that you give consideration to this. I, I read in the paper, and, and perhaps somebody could explain to me, that the theory was that, that while they didn't have available enough uh, 
enough real estate to do what the, the, the zoning required insofar as recreation and so forth was concerned, that as soon as the, as the, the, new, uh, the new road out there went in and the new intersection was established, which incidentally is, is that constitutes a taking of, of our property alone, nobody else is going to be touched except the doctor out there who's having about 15 feet taken. I don't, I don't understand how that would make anything available for recreation. And was, was that explained in the, in the uh, working session when, when you all talked? I'm not really sure about it being a reparation or not. I do know they had talked about some green space and the developer has suggested they will cut back on the uh, number of apartments yes. to be able to get the green space. Okay, well, there was something in the paper about the fact that that, that would, that the new, the new routing Union Road would give them would give them uh, additional recreational green space, but and I would would them potentially say. eliminate the need for additional green space. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's my my pitch, and uh, and I hope y'all will take that into consideration. Thank you, Mr. Coleman. <coughs> Anyone else wishing to speak against? My name is Michael Bryant. Uh, I live at 405 West Stanfield Street. 